Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Climate Change. Minister, yesterday you announced a 2030 greenhouse gas emissions target that we reached six years ago, thanks in large part to the carbon stored in our forests. When you spoke to the media, to you said, what we need to arrive at is a 2030 target for Team Tasmania for a whole. The majority of the Climate Change Act review submissions called for sectoral targets for emissions reductions. Only the mining, forestry, cement and manufacturing industries were opposed to that. You've clearly chosen your team. You also said, as our economy grows and as our population grows and as we expect to see more frequent intense bushfires, our emissions profile is going to go up. Minister, in a time of accelerating climate change, is your climate action plan to increase greenhouse gas emissions? Is that what climate leadership looks yeah, like to you? Exactly. That's what you said yesterday in the media. Oh, yeah. That's what you said uh, in the media. I'm quoting from you. Order. Just order. I'm quoting from you. One Minister damn. of Climate Change. One damn. Very much, Mr. Just one damn. Uh, Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the honourable member, yesterday. member for Clark, um, for her question. I, I find it order, order. The I member has asked the question. Mr. Uh, Speaker, I'm just correcting uh, uh, the well, minister. He called me the member for Clark. Order, and I'm the order. Member for Franklin. I, I apologise. I undeservedly withdraw. <laughs> <laughs> I thank yes. the member for <laughs> Franklin, Dr. Oh, yes. Woodruff, for her of question. <laughs> I don't have any I'm choice. astonished that the Greens <laughs> can't find it in themselves to welcome wow. yes. this yes. government proposing that Tasmania adopts the most ambitious emissions target in Australia <laughs> and one of the most ambitious years ago in the world. Yeah. I find it astonishing that the Greens cannot bring themselves to support the announcement the New that this Victoria Liberal government order wants to maintain <laughs> Tasmania's <laughs> position as a world leader in managing greenhouse gas emissions and enhance our brand, uh, our reputation and to transition to a long-term low emissions economy. I find that astounding. However, it is true to form. Uh, it is, there is a pattern emerging, Mr Speaker. Uh, the Greens used to stand for uh, strong emissions targets. Now they can't support them. They used to stand for <laughs> ecotourism. Now they don't want people to go in and see our natural areas. They used to stand for renewable energy, but they don't support many renewable energy projects these days. They used to stand for the sharing economy. They used to embrace the sharing economy. Uh, now, now, oh, now we see it as a point of order. Order in the house. Sorry, Mr. Winterkolfer. Sorry, Dr. Woodard. Just order in the house, please, so I can hear them. In the uh, point of order. It is about relevance, Mr. Speaker, because the question is about sectoral targets, uh, and no. he is <laughs> focusing oh, again, on the that's, that's not, of industry. And again, Dr. Woodruff, order, order, Dr. Woodruff, order. That's not a point of order, and you know it. And it's an interruption to yes. the minister yeah. while he's on his feet, and so that's oh, disorderly. Uh, the minister was only 30 seconds into uh, his answer, and you're querying the direction that he's going. I'm sure the minister will cover everything that you, or the issue that you raised, minister. And the minister will be heard in silence. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Everybody knows, and we stated again yesterday, and I said as part of my uh, public statements yesterday, that Tasmania uh, is uh, below net zero greenhouse gas emissions. Now we're very proud of that position. Uh, that has been. That has come about through major change uh, and sacrifice in Tasmania, as the Premier said also uh, yesterday. But we are in this position of net uh, negative greenhouse gas emissions. Our challenge is to maintain that. Anyone who has read the uh, emissions pathway modelling report recently commissioned by our government will see that the projection is that if we do nothing new and different, we will lose that status. Uh, within around five years, targets. certainly order. before 2030, it will become, uh, we will become again a net emitter of greenhouse gases. <laughs> and therefore, if we are going to maintain our net negative status, we're going to need to set a target to ensure that we plan and our economy plans so to, to reduce our emissions uh, and be 
net negative from you 2030. Can't do it Mr. Speaker, um, this is not a target that's been met mm -hmm. that, in, that lets us target. now just cruise. Yeah, and again, the, uh, the opposition in their uh, release and their response yesterday to our, our announcement of a 2030 net zero emissions target also said this is a target that's already been met. It Mr Speaker, is. we are in net zero territory now. Our, cha our challenge is to ensure that we're still net zero yeah. at 2030 and that we continue to be net zero from 2030. This is the most ambitious uh, emissions reduction target in Australia. It is one of the most ambitious in the world. Now, I cannot fathom why the Greens, who used to stand for uh, strong action on climate change, cannot celebrate and welcome that target. Order. I'm an absolute lost to know what the opposition stands for at all. Order.